Hey, Gary. Um, kind of on the same uh, idea of masking, one of the questions that came in was about the confusion um, between different uh, regulatory authorities. Our governor, who has ultimate authority, I guess, um, ordered masking in public, and yet our local sheriff's department, I guess they issued a statement saying that they won't enforce it. Um, so it appears some stores are requiring it, others aren't. We have a masking policy, and I think healthcare organizations can require it now. Yes. Um, but how are we going to get everybody on the same page with the confusing information that's yeah, coming and out? Yeah, I, um, I think it was a, unfortunately a poor choice of words um, by the sheriff department and the police department. I'd, I'd heard that um, both Sheriff Boudreau and uh, Police Chief um, Salazar. Um, both made a similar comment, but if, if you dig a little bit deeper, if you read what they were really saying is that I think that while they support um, the governor's um, mandate, that they simply don't have the resources mm. to enforce um, the masking. Um, you know, we look to our sheriff and our police to protect us, to keep us safe from crime and, um, you know, traffic violations that put our lives at risk and stuff and um, the bad guys that you know that's where we want them to deploy their resources uh, not being the mass cops that are going around finding individuals that aren't wearing their masks so i think that's understandably what they really meant is we simply don't have the resources uh, margaret mims who's the sheriff of um, fresno county i think was a little bit more explicit but essentially said the same thing, that we simply don't have the resources to enforce uh, this new mask mandate and they're not gonna do it. Now that said, I, I have heard her and uh, both the sheriff and the police said that if there are egregious violations, you know, just flagrant violations on the part of businesses or others um, that really are putting folks at risk, then they will look to enforce um, those uh, and I and I know for a fact um, that there have been businesses in town that have been fined uh, for not um, you know exercising appropriate uh, precautions I do um, I support you know Costco I support smart and final grocery stores um, they've made wearing masks mandatory they won't let you enter their stores um, unless you're wearing a mask so um, you know, I, I might have felt differently a few weeks ago. I, I kind of felt, you know, that increasing freedom uh, that I think a lot of folks were feeling when our positivity rate was steadily declining and had gone down to 5.7%. But now we've quickly soared back up to nine. And unfortunately, I think we're gonna continue to see that grow as we've moved into phase three of the reopening. Um, I um, went into Save Mart the other day where masks are uh, optional. And uh, I don't know, one out of 10, uh, I was one of the few people wearing a mask. And um, so you, you're just gonna see it. And so I, I just think that, uh, again, we need to follow the, yeah, the recommendations. And, and really since the beginning, um, we've worried about our younger uh, folks from 18 to 35. And, and they're, you know, getting together and socializing. And so I heard on the news this morning that that's become the big deal. Right. The the surge, resurgence of this is they're really seeing it in the young younger younger folks who have been out at the beaches and on the in the streets and whatnot. So um, bringing that home to their parents and grandparents. Yeah. Well, as I was commenting earlier, 25 percent of all of those that have tested positive in Tulare County are younger than age 25. Yeah. And while they may have, you know, supercharged immune systems and mostly young people have fared very well through it. Um, the younger you are, generally the more successful they've been in defeating the virus, um, but they spread it uh, to yeah. older people, not, not you and me. I'm not referring that we're old, Diane, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that, again, that's, don't be selfish. Um, think about other people. I mean, you, you might uh, have that, you know, again, a great immune system. You may not exhibit any symptoms, but you could be an asymptomatic carrier that uh, is spreading it to people that don't have the ability to fight it like you.